Dividing with money. The store sold six ears of corn, I have six over here, for $1.38. How much does one ear of corn cost? They sold six ears of corn for $1.38. The question is, how much does one ear of corn cost? So we have to divide $1.38 by six. We have a dollar thirty-eight. Divide that by six. Now, in dividing with money, it's crucial that you keep this decimal point and go straight up in here. Keep this in line. That's very important when doing math. Let's do it over here now. So we have a dollar thirty-eight. Divide that by six. 6 doesn't go into 1, so that's 0. 6 goes into 13 2 times, so it goes 6 times 2 is 12. 2 from 3 is 1, and we put the 2 directly above that 3. Then we carry down the 8. 6 goes into 18 3 times. 18 and that evens out to zero. So one ear of corn cost 23 cents. Let's double check. So one ear of corn cost 23 cents. Multiply that by six. Six times three is 18. Carry the one. Six times two is 12 plus one is 13. There are two decimal places. So we do that also in the answer. And so the 60 years of corn cost $1.38. And so we know this answer checks as well as this one. So the answer again is how much does one ear of corn cost? One ear of corn costs 23 cents. Let's do problem 1A together. We want to divide $128.64 by 8. Remember, bring up the decimal point in line with the one that's in the problem. 8 doesn't go into 1, but 8 does go into 12. It goes one time, so make sure you put this 1 right above that 2. So 8, 8 from 12 is 4. Now we bring down the 8. How many times does 8 go into 48? It goes 6 times. So we put the 6 up there. 6 times 8 is 48. That equals 0. Bring down the 6. How many times does 8 go into 6? And this is very important. It doesn't go. So we have to put a 0. Don't forget the 0. It's very important. Then we bring down the 4. How many times does 8 go into 64? 8 times 8 is 64, it goes 8 times, 64, that equals 0, 0. And so the answer is 8 goes into $128.64, the answer is $16.08. So let's check the answer, $16.08 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64, carry the 6, 8 times 0 is 0, plus 6 is 6, 8 times 6 is 48, carry the 4, 8 times 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, $128.64 checks with what we were dividing with, so the answer of $128.64 divided by 8 equals sixteen dollars and eight cents. I visited Chinatown in Los Angeles. I came across this store where they were selling dried mushrooms. If I bought a five pound bag of these mushrooms for hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents, how much would I be paying for one pound? Let's do the math. 
A five-pound bag of mushrooms sells for $199.99. We'll just round that up and say that costs $200. We'll add a penny to it. And we want to know the cost of one pound, so we have to divide that $200 by five. Five doesn't go into two, so we have to take the next number. Five goes into 20. Four times, four, four times five is 20. Five goes into zero, and don't forget to add that zero. That's important. It goes zero times. So for one pound of mushrooms, $40 per pound. You want to go deep sea fishing. The cost of the deep sea fishing boat for the day is $975 for up to three people. If three of you go fishing, how much would it cost for one person? Let's do the math. The deep sea fishing boat cost $975. And the question is, if three of you go fishing, how much would it cost for one person? So the boat costs $975, and three of you go fishing, so you have to divide 975 by three. Let's do that. 975 divided by three. Three goes into nine three times. Three goes into seven two times, with one left over. Three goes into 15 five times. And since this is a dollar sign over here, so for one person, it would cost $325 to go deep sea fishing. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.